Hi friends, today we shall learn more about the second characteristic or property of noun that is number. The number denotes whether we speak of one object or one person or more than that the number. Nouns in English have got two numbers, singular and plural. A noun that denotes one person or thing is said to be in singular number as man, boy, tree, chair, city, etc. A noun that denotes more than one person or thing is said to be in plural number as men, boys, trees, chairs, cities, etc. In a few languages, plural denotes two or more people or things but in English plural denotes more than one it could be less than two so one plus a fraction is considered plural for example one and a half ears not ear one and a half feet not foot one and quarter hours not hour generally the plural form of noun is formed by the addition of s to the singular forms like bird birds girl girls book books elephant elephants etc but there are some nouns whose plural forms are formed in some other ways like baby babies child children tooth teeth leaf leaves etc before going to the ways of forming the plurals, let's have a look at the alphabet. The alphabet. The letter is the smallest unit of writing any language. The group of letters used in writing a language arranged in order is the alphabet. The letters of the English alphabet in large form are called capital letters or capitals. And the letters of the English alphabet written in small form are called small letters or smalls. The word alphabet is formed of the first two letters of the Greek language that is alpha and beta. There are 26 letters for the English alphabet and these 26 letters of the alphabet are divided into two categories or groups namely vowels and consonants. A vowel is a letter which has a pronunciation of its own. That means a vowel is a letter which can be pronounced without the help of any other letter. Whereas a consonant is a letter which cannot be pronounced without the help of any other vowels. In the English alphabet, the five letters A, E, I, O, U are vowels and the remaining 21 letters are consonants. Now let's look at the different ways of forming the plurals. There are different rules that are followed in forming the plurals of the nouns. They are divided into three parts. Let's see the first part. Rule number one. The majority of the nouns form their plural by the addition of s to the singular for example table tables cup cups house houses monarch monarchs stomach stomachs rule number two nouns ending in s x sh ch when doesn't sound as k or z form their plural by the addition of es to the singular for example gas gases dish dishes to pass to passes bush bushes bench benches box boxes rule number three nouns ending in o preceded by a consonant generally form their plural by the addition of es to the singular. For example, tomato, tomatoes, mango, 
mangoes hero heroes cargo cargoes buffalo buffaloes echo echoes there is an exception for the third rule that is some scientific or technical words borrowed from latin like dynamo canto quarto piano grotto solo etc have only s added to them to make the plural for example dynamo dynamos canto cantos piano pianos quarto quartos grotto grottos solo solos let's see some more nouns of the same nature kilo kilos memento mementos photo photos logo logos commando commandos rule number 4 nouns ending in o preceded by a vowel form their plural by the addition of merely s like radio radios studio studios bamboo bamboos cuckoo cuckoos ratio ratios stereo stereos rule number 5 nouns ending in y preceded by a consonant form their plural by changing y into i e s like story stories pastry pastries city cities lily lilies variety varieties ally allies rule number 6 but nouns ending in y preceded by a vowel simply take s to form plural s valley valleys key keys journey journeys alley alleys boy boys day days toy toys essay essays rule number 7 several nouns ending in f or fe form the plural by changing the f or fe into ves for example calf calves leaf leaves loaf loafs half halves life lives shelf shelves knife knives sheep sheaves wolf wolves thief thieves wife wives elf elves self selves remember the plural form of still life that is in painting is still lives not l i v e s there are few exceptions for rule number 7 first the following nouns take either s or v e s in the plural for example scarf scarves or scarves hoof hoofs or hoofs darf darfs or darfs wharf wars or wars staff when it takes the meaning of the stick staffs or staffs second other nouns ending in f or fe take only s in the plural s proof proofs roof roofs chief chiefs gulf gulfs safe saves cave caves believe believes cliff 
cliffs kerchief kerchiefs third the plural of if used as a noun is ifs not i v e s rule number 8 there are a few nouns that form their plural by adding e n to the singular as ox oxen child children rule number 9 nouns ending in f u l take s because they are regarded as one word see the examples spoonful spoonfuls mouthful mouthfuls handful handfuls armful armfuls rule number 10 a few nouns form their plural by changing inside vowel of the singular like foot feet mouse mice goose geese tooth teeth man men woman women louse lice watchman watchmen englishman englishmen english woman english women there are three exceptions for the rule number 10 first the plural form of mongoose is mongooses second the plural of german is germans third the plural of specimen is specimens rule number 11 Some nouns have the singular and plural alike as sheep, deer, innings, swine, cord, trout, salmon, aircraft, spacecraft, species, series, etc. The following nouns also have the same nature when they are used after numerals like pair dozen score gross hundred thousand etc see the sentences first the basket contains five score bananas not five scores second she bought five dozen oranges not five dozens third 700 rupees is not a large sum not 700s fourth i have two pair of shoes not two pairs but when these counting nouns do not follow the numerals they are used in plural let's see the examples first scores of bananas are in the basket second dozens of oranges were bought by her third she spent hundreds of rupees fourth all the pairs of shoes need repairs rule number 12 nouns given below are used only in the plural first names of instruments having two parts to form a kind of pair as scissors tongs spectacles pincers bellows etc second names of certain articles of dress as trousers pantaloons shorts jeans tights breeches drawers etc third a few other nouns as thanks assets tidings environs nuptials obsequies chattels annals proceeds etc 
Rule number 13. The nouns like arms, riches, eaves, etc., which are originally singular, are now commonly used in plural. Let's see how they are used in plural in the sentences. First, riches do not always bring happiness. Second, arms were distributed to those in need. Third, the eaves are wide with some exposed rafters. Rule number 14. The following nouns, though plural in the form, are in fact singular. First, names of subjects like mathematics, physics, economics, politics, etc. Second, the word news. Third, names of some common diseases as measles, mumps, rickets, etc. Fourth, names of some games like billiards, draughts, etc. Fifth, the word innings. Rule number 15. Means is used either as singular or plural. But when it has the meaning of wealth, it is always plural. See the examples. First, his means are limited. In this sentence, the meaning of the word means is wealth. Therefore, it is used in plural. Second, the move is a means to fight crime. In this sentence, the meaning of the word means is not wealth. Therefore, it is used in singular. Rule number 16. Certain collective nouns, though singular in form, are used as plurals, as cattle, poultry, gentry, vermin, people, etc. Let's see them in the sentences. First, cattle are grazing. Second, this poultry are mine. Third, there are a few gentry in our locality. Fourth, vermin carry diseases. Fifth, people were witnessing the show. Here, people means persons. Remember, when people means a nation, it is used in both singular and plural. Like, first, the English are a brave people. Second, Asia is inhabited by many peoples. Rule number 17. The plural of numerals in figure is formed by adding a small s. For example, hundred, hundreds. The plural of abbreviations are formed by adding s. Like cm, cms. MP, MPs. When apostrophe S is used with abbreviations or acronyms, they denote possession, not plurals. See the examples. First, these MPs are of the opposition party. Here, MPs is used in plural. Second, MPs car crashed into boom barrier. Here, MPs is used in possessive case to show the possession over the noun car. Remember, first, the plural of numerals written in words is also formed by adding a small s. Example, two, twos, five, fives. The boy made the room at 
sixes and sevens. Here, sixes and sevens are used in plural. Second, the plural of the letters of the alphabet is formed by adding apostrophe s. For example, r, r's, p, p's. But the plural of p when it represents page, l when it represents line, n when it represents noun, v when it represents verb, and ms when it represents manuscript is formed by doubling these letters. Read the examples carefully. Rule number 18. In compound nouns, usually only the last word is made plural. Like boyfriend, boyfriends, girlfriend, girlfriends, close up, close ups, take off, take offs, fountain pen, fountain pens, grown up, grown ups, break down, breakdowns, woman hater, woman haters, in law, in laws, forget me not, forget me nots. Rule number 19. But the following compound nouns are made plural by changing the principal word to plural as father-in-law, fathers-in-law. Here, the principal word is father. Commander-in-chief, commanders-in-chief. Daughter-in-law, daughters-in-law. Brother-in-law, brothers-in-law. Son-in-law, sons-in-law. Footman, footmen. Man of war, men of war. Governor General, Governors General. Stepson, stepsons. On looker, on lookers. Passer by, passers by. Hanger on, hangers on. Runner up, runners up. Rule number 20. Both the elements are made plural when man or woman is the first word like man servant men servants woman servant women servants woman doctor women doctors man driver men drivers remember but the plural form of the man eater is man eaters not men eaters Part 2. Rule number 1. Some nouns have two plural forms for the plural, each with a somewhat different meaning. Examples. Brother, brothers, which means sons of the same parent. Brethren, which means members of a society or a community. Cloth, clothes, means kinds of piece of cloth. Clothes, which means garments. Dye, dyes, which means stamps for coining. Dice, small cubes used for games. Index. Indexes, which means tables of content to books. Indices, signs used in algebra. Penny, pennies, which means number of coins. Pence means amount in value. Rule number two, some nouns have two meanings in the singular but only one 
in the plural. Let's see the examples. In singular, light has two meanings that is radiance or a lamp. In plural, lights has only one meaning that is lamps. In singular, people has two meanings that is nation or men and women. In plural, peoples has only one meaning that is nations. In singular, powder has two meanings that is dust or a dose of medicine in fine grease like dust. In plural, powders has only one meaning that is doses of medicine. In singular, practice has two meanings that is habit or exercise of a profession. In plural, practices has only one meaning that is habits. Rule number three. Some nouns have only one meaning in singular, two in the plural. Let's see the examples. In singular, color has only one meaning that is hue. In plural, colors has two meanings that is hues or the flag of a regiment. In singular, Custom has only one meaning that is habit. In plural, customs has two meanings that is habits or duties levied on imports. In singular, effect has only one meaning that is result. In plural, effects has two meanings that is results or property. In singular, manner has only one meaning that is method. In plural, manners has two meanings that is methods or correct behavior. In singular, moral has only one meaning that is a moral lesson. Whereas in plural, morals has two meanings that is moral lessons or conduct. In singular, number has only one meaning that is a quantity. Whereas in plural, numbers has two meanings that is quantities or verses. In singular, pain has only one meaning that is suffering. In plural, pains has Two meanings that is sufferings and care or exertion. In singular, premise has only one meaning that is proposition. Whereas in plural, premises has two meanings that is propositions or buildings. In singular, quarter has only one meaning that is fourth part whereas in plural quarters has two meanings that is fourth parts or lodgings in singular spectacle has only one meaning that is a sight in plural spectacles has two meanings that is sights or eyeglasses. The following nouns have two meanings in the singular, three in the plural. In singular, letter has two meanings that is letter of the alphabet or epistle. In plural, letters has three meanings that is letters of the alphabet, epistle or literature. In singular, ground has two meanings, that is, earth or reason. 
whereas in plural grounds has three meanings that is enclosed land attached to house reasons or dregs rule number 4 some nouns have different meanings in the singular and the plural now let's see the examples in singular air means atmosphere whereas in plural airs means affected manners in singular good means benefit or well-being whereas in plural goods means merchandise in singular compass means extent or range whereas in plural compasses means an instrument for drawing circles in singular respect means regard in plural respects means compliments in singular physic means medicine in plural physics means natural science in singular iron means a kind of metal whereas in plural iron means fetters in singular force means strength in plural forces means troops rule number 5 abstract nouns have no plural as they are uncountable nouns like joy charity love kindness etc when such words do appear in the plural they are used as countable nouns see the examples provocations means instances or cases of provocation kindnesses means acts of kindness rule number 6 names of substances are also uncountable nouns and are not therefore used in plural like copper iron tin wood etc when such words are used in the plural they become uncountable nouns with changed meanings see the examples coppers which means copper ions ions which means fetters tins which means cans made of tins woods which means forest part 3 foreign nouns or loan words that is nouns which came to english from other languages followed norms of the original language in forming their plural but some of them take the english forms also rule number 1 words ending in a have their plural in a e like formula formulae or formulas larva larvae nebula nebulae or nebulas vertebra vertebrae rule number 2 words ending in us have their plural ending in i as aluminous alumni bacillus bacilli focus focci or focuses fungus fungi or funguses nucleus nuclei radius radii syllabus syllabi rule number 3 words ending in um have their plural form ending in a like bacterium bacteria 
curriculum, curricula or curriculums. Datum, data. Medium, media. Memorandum, memoranda or memorandums. Stratum, strata or stratums. Rule number four. Words ending in E, X, I, X, I, S have their plurals in E, S. For examples, apex, apices or apexes. Index, indices or indexes. Appendix, appendix or appendices. Axis, axis. Analysis, analysis. Basis, basis. Crisis, crises. Ellipsis, ellipses. Hypothesis, hypothesis. Oasis, oases. Parenthesis, parentheses. Synopsis, synopses. Thesis, theses. Rule number five. Words ending in O, N have the plural in A. Like automaton, automata. Criterion, criteria. Phenomenon, phenomena. Rule number six. Certain nouns like species, series, crops have the same form in the singular and plural. Certain words of Hebrew origin form the plural like cherub, cherubim, seraph, seraphim. Thanks for watching this video. If you have not yet subscribed this channel, please subscribe it at the same time. Don't forget to like and share the same.